Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on number patterns. A number pattern is a list of numbers that follow a certain sequence or rule. One of the simplest and most recognizable number patterns is the following. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. This represents the counting numbers starting from 1. Having a good knowledge of number patterns is very useful when it comes to solving problems. At this stage, let us look at some patterns involving shapes. After that, we will look at some number patterns. Let's look at the first one here. The above pattern is very simple and it repeats consistently and this is why. Square, circle, triangle, square, circle, triangle, square, circle, triangle very consistent. Number two, the above pattern changes as we move from left to right. However, there is a rule that allows us to find other terms. So what is the next item? We have a square, one circle, square, two circles, square, three circles, so the next one must be a square if you follow that pattern. So what is the next item? It's a square. What are the next four items after the square? Square one circle, square two circles, square three circles, square four circles. So there they are. Consider the following patterns. How many sides does the next shape have? So we have three sides, four sides, five sides, six sides. So the above pattern gives us enough clues to answer the question. Three sides, four sides, five sides, six sides. So the next one has seven sides. Consider the next pattern. We have an arrow pointing up, pointing to the right, pointing down, pointing to the left. So if we follow those patterns there, we can easily see that the next arrow points up. So we have enough information to say that the next shape is this one. More patterns with pictures. Consider the following pattern. What are the next two pictures to the above pattern? Two squares, two circles. Two squares, two circles, so we must have two squares. So that's the answer. Consider the following pattern. What is the next picture? Circle, square, star, circle, square, star, so it must be a circle. Just follow the pattern. Using a rule to generate patterns. Use the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to apply this rule. Double each number and add 6. So we double 1, that gives us 2. Then you add 6, 2 plus 6 gives you 8. Double 2 to give you 4, 4 plus 6 gives you 10. Double 3 to give you 6, 6 plus 6 equals 12. Double 4 to give you 8, 8 plus 6 is 14. And you can see the pattern starting to emerge. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, etc. Use the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. to apply this rule. Add 2 to each number and double the answer. 1 plus 2 gives you 3, double 3 to give you 6. Two plus two gives you four, double four to give you eight. Three plus two gives you five, double five to give you ten. Four plus two gives you six, double six to give you twelve. And now you can see the pattern six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, etc. For each of the following examples, describe in words the rule which is used to create each pattern. So the first example is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. It's quite easy to see that 
If you start with the even number 2 and keep adding 2 to each new number, this pattern is the set of even numbers beginning at 2. Next example, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. The rule, start at the odd number 1 and keep adding 2 to each new number. This pattern is the set of odd numbers beginning at 1. So this video has given us an introduction to patterns, both using shapes and numbers. And once we become very good at patterns, that helps us in problem solving.